communication. It could very well be one of the most important words in the dictionary. Without it, most everything else would fall apart. Now, advancements in technology are constantly expanding and evolving how we communicate. One company that continues to invent breakthrough technologies that transform how the world connects and communicates is Qualcomm Technologies. Qualcomm is the company that connected the phone to the internet, spurring a mobile revolution. Today, Qualcomm inventions are foundational for life-changing products, experiences, and industries. Here to dive deeper on the AR-VR portion and explain the latest technology advancements is Hugo Swart. He's the head of XR for Qualcomm Technologies, joining us from San Diego, California. Hugo, welcome to Tech Impact. Hi, Mark. Thanks for having me. All right, Hugo, let's dive right in. Please explain what XR means. We use the term XR to encapsulate both VR and AR, virtual reality and augmented reality. Let me talk a little bit about both. Virtual reality is when you are fully immersed in the content, in the experience. It's like being inside a game or being transported to a different world. You would use a device like this one from uh, Pico, where it shuts out everything from the physical environment so that you feel really immersed, present in the virtual world. Now, in the other hand, augmented reality, you still see the physical world. It, you have augmentation, you have digital elements come in front of your eyes. And you would use devices like this one from Shadow Creator, a glass that has a see-through display, so you see the physical world, the physical environment, but the displays can put these digital elements in front of it. Those devices look awesome, but before you talk about those, can you explain what you mean by Qualcomm Snapdragon platform? Sure. The Qualcomm Snapdragon platform is like a supercomputer in a tiny little chip like this one I'm holding here. It's like the engine of a car or the brain of your body. The tiny little chip actually has a lot to it, it has a CPU, it has graphics, it has AI, 5G, all at low power and high performance, enabling these immersive XR experiences. So, Qualcomm Technologies delivers the technology to power XR devices, is that right? Yes, and we deliver all this cutting edge technology in three ways. The first is the chip itself, like I mentioned. We have best-in-class mobile XR processors that have the performance, the low power, and integration needed for these types of devices. Second, the software. XR needs new features and functionalities that we deliver through software tied to the chip. And third is the reference design, where we make a reference product that our customers can make small modifications and quickly go to market. All right, I don't think we can wait any longer, speaking for myself and I'm sure our viewers, so please walk us through some of the devices with you. Great, let me start with the Microsoft HoloLens 2. It's powered by the Snapdragon 850 and a business-centric device, very comfortable that workers can use for long hours and complemented with many of the Microsoft services like cloud computing, AI, security. You can imagine workers using it for 3D design, IoT visualization, learning and training. Now let me move to consumers. Here I have the Oculus Quest. Based on the Snapdragon 835, it is the first all-in-one gaming system from Oculus. It doesn't require any cables or any tracking systems since it comes with the Oculus touch controllers and embedded sensors that do the tracking and transport it to the virtual world. And lastly, I'm gonna to touch upon the Unreal Light AR glasses. We call them viewers because there's no processing in the glass. They actually connect to a smartphone that has all the computing power that does all the XR processing to the glass. Snapdragon 855 smartphones support this capability and by the way, also support 5G that gives you the low latency, the high bandwidth that these applications demand. Thank you, Hugo. Very impressive technology. Thank you for having me here, Mark. 
Now, should you have any questions regarding this segment, head over to qualcom.com slash XR or follow Hugo Swart on Twitter at HugoSwart underscore QCOM or log on to techimpact.tv.